Welcome to the performance. Each song includes a sound description before it, to describe the oral content for artistic and accessibility purposes. The descriptions were written by myself and artist Andy Slater, and I encourage you to check out his work at www.thisisandyslater.net. Thank you to New Music Detroit for having us, Matthew Duval, Una O'Riordan, and Justin Snyder for joining us. I hope you enjoy. August 1999. A sign tone that resembles a hospital monitor begins, and is gradually joined by accompanying tones to make a layered effect. Eventually bass on tones join, and slowly distort to create a chaos ed effect. Carolina's Hospitalization. August 6, 1999. Trauma number 81000001000. Seven year old female. Restrained passenger in a rollover motor vehicle accident. Patient brought in by ambulance and no loss of consciousness. Patient hemodynamically stable en route. Initial vital signs blood pressure 14082, pulse 117. Respiration 20.
I was a figure. Hearing her call from the furthest point of the sulfuric shadow, she has her back to us. I sit by a candle and accompanied by the breath of the right hand, she turns to show her voice. The candle flame flickers with the presence of words that make the dark seem darker, the room seem endless, and her voice a physical structure. The cave of her mouth is supported by stalactites and mites. The calls resonate and rip through. They are conflicted. Some value their home, and some would die to escape. She proclaimed she was a figure when we interrupted her, but clearly is now a mountain in the lower mantle of the earth. Weakness. A patient drone sits in place. It listens intently to the conversation. As each voice speaks, it maintains its solidarity. A comforting voice sings, assuring and reinforcing the group's candor. It embraces the sound. As the discussion comes to an end, it loosens its hug on the drone, letting it rest.
What is weakness for you? Weakness, gosh, that's so loaded. <laughs> yeah, it's not a word I, th I think about that much, and I wonder why. Eagle. I think weakness is one of those words that I have trouble defining insofar as it is often defined for me, and actually most people find weakness is defined for them by somebody outside, and it ends up becoming internalized. Some disabled people are weak some of the time, but so is everybody else. It feels connected to fragility, which I think of as kind of like the default way of, of being and existing in the world. Like weakness and fragility in my body, and that feels really connected to how I move through the world. And I interact with people who don't have that experience of their body, but I often feel like that is kind of a myth that they're that they're the biggest. Internalizing what other people think I'm able to do. I don't know how many times a day, a week, a month, a year, people say like, oh, "You're such an inspiration." because I persevered through an educational track and went on to do X, Y, and Z and build this professional career. Like, why isn't that inspirational? Giving up before I try something. I just wish this is my superpower. Everybody has weaknesses, and most of us don't like to admit to them. When I first started losing my eyesight, obviously my vision impairment was a massive weakness, and um, you know that can certainly consume you with regard to every aspect of your life, whether it's you know um, preventing you from doing things professionally, whether it's preventing you from doing things socially, whether it's preventing you from doing things personally. Uh, and if you allow that to basically uh, consume your entire life, then you end up in that dark hole or pit. And uh, that's where, you know, a lot of us have been there admit that I certainly have been in that dark, dark hole um, a few times myself during my journey. It has not taken long. Backed into a corner, by choice. The 45 degree angle resting your head snugly in the middle. The back and forth of the swinging lamp echoes from ear to ear. Two voices from the same mouth talk to themselves. One bellows, the other serenades. The tiny spotlight crawls to the top of the boulder in the middle of the room. You can sense its mass, but you cannot convince yourself that it's that big. Until, of course, it barrels its way towards you. Out goes the light.
horizontal and the water out past the breakers, you receive the gift of a calm. It is so comforting it insists that you shut your eyes. Like a single gull in the sky, the warnings from a friend circle overhead. This is the end. The choice to ignore them was strictly yours to make. The feeling of water flooding your inner ear startles open your eyes. The bright blue perfect sky ushers in a slow motion white capped green aqua tidal. Wound like a ball of yarn. It moves above you, hundreds of feet above you, directly above you, at a glacier's pace assimilating you. You are up within its body, moving through its strings like a parasite. The monstrous wave dispels its guests into the sky, behind it and down into its wake, and it is now your turn to be purged.
my body is a cage. Pulsing chords sway beneath an anxious vocal line. Gradually more instruments join, adding rhythm and tension and responding to one another. Eventually the music is propelled to a climactic moment of build-up, and releases back to the pulsing chords. Stand. 
secure. Fantastical, arpeggiated high organ figure begins the track, followed by entrance of a low, distorted and forceful bass organ line. Near the very end a high vocal cluster enters, driving the track to the end. What is cure for you? For me, this is a sound from my cochlear implant because it enabled me to communicate well with hearing people. I don't think there is such a thing. Something that I'm allowed to say that I want, but I don't want the world to force upon me. I would say that cure is a fiction. It means that I have a problem that needs to be fixed. But when I think about my disability, I don't think about being broken. I think about changing the world around me to see me as whole. Um, and cure doesn't have a place in that. I hate that word. <laughs> oh. I wish they had driverless cars. That way I'm not waiting as long as two hours just to get a ride somewhere and being able to afford everything I want on my own would be great here. Being able to work more hours and make more money would also be cure. I don't necessarily believe that a cure is 100% scientific. I think that a lot of cure comes from within.
overuse on the ruse. Like a row of sequence chromatic light bulbs flashing, the melody constructs and squeezes around her voice. You are my purifier. A flat palm and then a closed fist push on the chest slowly. It tries to restart the heart, calling for the left and right and left and right and left until a confession is revealed. The constructing melody steers in and out around the choir, a calm expression from a frantic impulse. Left and right and left and right and, until finally a conclusion, a flat droning stare that proves your position to be nothing. The second section is called Overuse, Underuse. It was filmed in a space with a white wall and concrete floor. The integrated American Sign Language interpretation is framed within a circle in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. The sign language expresses the music and the lyrics. She walks in barefoot, black pants and vest. She goes to her organ in the center of the space. She sets our song in motion.
<laughs> Acquire female voices beckons out for longing and recognition. As the choir progresses, organ chords join in lyrical content focusing on the fallacy of inspiration and overcoming a tragedy. The work ends with further questioning and suing.
for so